Knight Shaco. Mood right. is the, to my knowledge, still the only Evelyn player in competitive, and this might be the first as Jat looks it up. Do the blue buff. Yep. So bleh, checking in on Shaco, of course, Thunderlords, not a surprise. I checked earlier. Uh, not running any lethality was over there. Ooh, this would be good by Sven, though. Nice oh. hook on a boss. That was beautifully executed. The hook lands as well from Hotzer. First blood into the top lane. They made it look so easy. We've been so distracted by Shaco. We're missing. Make sure it comes through. And at this point, unless you can insta clear the wave, this is going to be a killed turret elimination. Wants to tank it. You see he runs forward. Balls is there. Oh, man. Finds Bjergsen, and that's the kill. Flyquest able to answer one. The root going to land on Biofrost as well. Bubble only hits Lemon. But in the back line, they go clearing the minions. That very nicely played by him to land that last hit. Unlucky for Moon. High gets stunned up to kick it back in, and it's going to be lights out for Corky. Nice kill picked up Sven and Bjergsen delivering. Super dead. Looks like he kind of either got interrupted out of his Valkyrie over the wall there. Top for Hauntzer. Got all summoners up there. They landed a fear. They're going to land a two man tidal wave almost. Lemonation Look locked up with a bubble. Flashing, but Sven's already there. Q's going to land. Now, can they get much more? Altec in a bad spot. There's the kick back into the rest of the team. Noah for Altec to go, and Sven is absolutely everywhere. Even Q's back with the minion wave to make it look even cooler. 4 0 all was going to try and get something back, but it's tough to dive in Nautilus. It's going to be hard right now. Actually, Ball's still holding aggro. Jukes it back down. Now it's Moon. He might die for this one. Oh, it's That's switched. way too much damage. Yeah, he dropped aggro. And the close not going to do any damage. What a catastrophically bad dive. Exactly. What happened there is Moon. So many games to master has put in the time on it, but he's going to be on Bjergsen, though. Bjergsen. Going to land this slow. Going to land a whole crap ton of damage, forcing the flash out. Moon doesn't oh, quite dodge it well enough. Ulti goes on to the correct one. Bjergsen guesses right, takes him out, another kill. Outlook for Spring Split. Absolutely agree, and TSM starting to look pretty good here in this one. Slow and secured, playing it well, a stun elimination is gonna die right off the bat. Bjergsen gets the solo kill. Now the re-engage, they've actually traded one back, nicely done. High gets the kill credit as Bjergsen goes down. Another 4v4 is here, Balls is gonna land an- Oh, oh look, look at the damage. damage output there. They might play. that's gonna be a nice route, almost killing him off. Another re-engage, what a kick! In for Svenskir and delivers high, but he's gonna barely sneak back out. A fear on a Hauntzer. Can they find much more? Balls gonna land the root again, and he's gonna kill off Bjergsen. He pops Ooh. Ulti, gets it. Well, it's gonna lose his life. It's gonna be one for one. Wild Turtle down to 50 HP again. Zero. And actually, most people have been missing this game. They've been juked away properly. Stun's gonna land on the balls. Doesn't really mean a whole lot there from Hauntzer. Maybe a bit of a wasted ult. Hooks back in on a high. That's some good damage. Bubble land as well. Big by Biofrost. High trying to run, and Svenskir and kills him off. That's a worthy trade, even though Altec does kill him. But look at that on the front line. Altec cannot withstand Hauntzer's damage. And Baldwin do the same thing. Lemonation dropping to Bjergsen in the back lines. And now Shot. the lead. The jump comes in. They can't quite take the blue buff away. It's going to go to high. It doesn't mean much yet. Yeah, but Ball's down in the front line. But actually going to buy a bit more. And Moon chunked out nearly dead. Oh, that was his clue. And I take it back. But it's still going to be Balls dropping out. One for zero on this. They kite away. Lemonation now going to be stunned. Bile across the bubble. And Hauntzer getting the kill credit on this one. Deservedly so, I think. 2-0 on that fight. TSM doing everything they possibly want here in these battles. Yeah, I... Moon definitely anti-hyping the Shaco pick so far. Shaco pick, we've never decided on the correct pronunciation because we never see him, but just hallucinating at random times in these fights, and it's not showing much effectiveness. With two people dead now, it's going to be a very hard Baron to stop. Moon trying to be as sneaky as possible. Invisible Blast Code! Jumps over the wall, dead. takes a whole ton of damage. He can't get away in time. They might kill Wild Turtle. High is trying, and he gets the one shut down, but here's the backup into the Baron. It will be secured, but... Can't complain too bad about a one-for-one -one fight. But that Baron, definitely no chance of going away now. Nicely picked up. TSM in more control and high. Slash Q, he's gonna go down. Exhaust, oh! that's you. Oh! oh, high, that was pretty freaking nice. The Hex Trinker was up, he's dead now. He's is dead, he? he's gone. He's I, definitely dead. killed him. Okay. Trying to get multiple turrets. The question is though, TSM with this numbers advantage is gonna push through to try and end the game. Yeah. Nexus turrets are next up because there are three people that haven't They're recalled looking. yet. How much can they get on here before FlyQuest can teleport back? All right, here we go. On to the next turrets right now. Hook on a high. That could be the game-winning pick. He's going to be kicked off, and there he goes down. Tidal Wave helping with that one. One turret gone. Svenskir on a half. Altex back in the fray. The root's going to be nice. They get, get damage on a Haunter, but it just is irrelevant. The hook on Lemon. He's got a flash out as well. Nice knockup. Biofrost with this kill as well. On to the Nexus turret number two. It's going to go down quickly. Svenskir on dropping the aggro. Ball's going to drop next off. That's already three for nothing. Looking for the fourth. It's going to be right on the moon's face. And now altex has got nothing left to do. That's going to be the game. TSM controlled the whole way through. Take down game one. Looking to cement the week as a 2-0 against Cloud9 and former Cloud9 as FlyQuest dropped game one.
Yeah, so a very strong start to the series for TSM, making the decisive call down the stretch to go up the mid lane. And really, I actually like the idea. And they haven't shown a, a lot of success with comps like these this year. Absolutely agree, but we'll see if it can come through to fruition this time around. A very exciting volatile comp from TSM. Everyone's got the little matchups with how much TSM focused the mid lane last game. If Bjergsen was down flash, able to clear enough distance away from Moon, and Moon wanted to continue to clear the Raptor camp, maybe punches so. him with that early, early gank. Early gank. Look at the damage out, but it doesn't even matter. Ooh. He got the kill. Oh, he gets him just Ooh. barely in the end. Moon gets away with it. And maybe it was intentional. Flash out of Bjergsen. We know that Sven wants around. He's actually got a lot of ferocity and losing a lot of HP on the back end. 200 HP, oh, he gets him! Overextend! Amount of time you're alive for Sunfire damage and look at the play now for the Drake. Double hit right there is nice. Arrow goes wide. They finish the cloud, but Moon is going to lose his life for that one. And now Ball's actually a late TP. Gets kind of caught out here. Looking for the re-engage though is high. Looking for Biofrost Ballster. Running Haunts are going to be rooted up by Elimination. Look at the left side. It's high. Running away from Bjergsen. Flash to the wall. Rejoins the rest of FlyQuest, but Haunter is still the on the push. Blast code in for Bjergsen. They've cut high with another stun. Here goes Parallel Convergence. It's not going to mean much, but it's still the kill on the high. That's two for zero as paid for the Cloud Drake. Yeah, and you gotta wonder whether that Cloud Drake was worth it, but I think FlyQuest also wanted the fight. Now it's TSM's turn to play aggressive because that's the bottom lane minion wave game. You push it in, then you rotate mid. You push it in, then you rotate mid. You kind of go in turn sometimes. Now they go for dive. And the stun lands on a moon. Look at the damage about to come out of this Rengar. Mid turret's gonna be dropped soon enough, but they first got the kill in a wild turtle. I missed that, but somehow that happened. Moon, though, overextends, didn't need to run forward, gets killed, but now Balls wants in. Bjergsen missing the ult. He's gonna get stunned, gonna take the damage. They picked that one up. Two to one overall in favor of FlyQuest, and now Hans is gonna run away. Very potential, a very teammate uh, reliant Team role. role. Yeah. But here we go. Dive top. Dive on the balls. He's got no HP to stand behind. He's trying, but it's not gonna happen. Plenty comes out from Hanser. They're gonna drop back or finish the turret in a second. First, they can clear the minions. But look at this, actually, FlyQuest, you know, just making their own play. Arrow's an elimination. If someone had to die, I guess it's a support, and they, in fact, don't really pull the trigger. They know he's not that valuable. Ball's TP didn't. Haunter got to save because he just walked into that fight. He's gonna flash for the ulti on the Haunter. Plenty of damage on Renekton. He is pretty squishy. Shock would means a bit more, and they will pick him off. Turns out that's a really good play to go for. The flash ult for Balls gives him a kill. Yeah, anytime FlyQuest can force a 5v5, they want to go for it, and that's key down mid lane, but Bjergsen's on the split push right now as well. Okay, well running it down mid's gonna work this time around. Inhibitor should be taken, and they will push faster than Bjergsen himself, but of course now Balls is here to defend. Uh, turret itself will still die, but Bjergsen getting a bit injured. You can see in the picture in picture he gets his stun, and he's gonna be okay in the duel, but that is still inhibit me around, so they've gotta rush this quickly. Sven Skarin does have flash, does have smite, and it's Flyquest who pull off instead. They find the stun, the root on a turtle, and they try to zone out Bjergs. The pick is on the one of the marksmen. And now can they find a little bit more? Elimination injured, though. The Redemption didn't get a lot of healing through. It was aimed a bit forward. And this play is a TP burn to get one kill. Ocean Drake this time does help Flyquest. Lemon's healing up. Yeah, it helps a lot. It's champion combat that keeps you from regening. So high is very famous for aggressive Baron calls. They're gonna keep at this and force TSM to come in. They got Bjergsen though, they jump into ult tech. The sun's gonna be there as well. Shockwave catches them out though, and they picked up Bjergsen. It's a two for one so far. Look at the back line of Svenskir, it can't kill off high. A triple kill for Moon, it's a four for one. And FlyQuest, the tenacity pays off. They're gonna get the Baron. And with a 5,000 gold lead, FlyQuest still take this razor thin advantage and drive it home to give them Baron. Even after this Baron, the gold is still going to be close, but the strategy is clear. FlyQuest used Baron as a beautiful catalyst for some team fights, and TSM walk right into it. And that was incredibly close. It's like right here with their solo lanes. Almost found the stun, actually. Bjergsen had jumped in on Parallel for Divergence, but had to ult back out, so he's missing the R button. And here's the re-engage. Oh, Sven on the back line! He catches up all tech, and then he's going to flash to safety. You've got another flank coming in. This is dangerous now. FlyQuest has to run. They're in a 4v5. And TSM looking to grab everything they can. Balls. Thankfully, is tanky, but the bubble's gonna land. Gets a stun. High Still flash is, and he takes him out. Almost full HP, and Biofrost is next. The mid laner, who even needs a mark, but in the bot lane, they're killing everybody. A triple kill for High. He's looking for more. The shockwave, and a kill out of the He's got four. It's on the Bjergsen. He got one yesterday, <laughs> and High gets him back for it. That was amazing, High, piloting the team to a beautiful game two. Into the mid lane they go. Oh my goodness, the second pen of kill of the NALCS <laughs> split.
both of them on Orianna, this time against Bjergsen, who got one yesterday. And I think that's potentially game. 10 seconds left on Wildthorn on Barfrost. The gold is still even, but they're going for the win. <laughs> they're going for it now. They've got him anyway. They got the Baron buff. Next is turret number one under fire. Turtle and Biofrost alive. This will be close. Turret number two hit. Bubble on elimination. Respawns in three seconds. Now Svenskaren's going to be in the mix. On to the Nexus. I don't know well, if it's going to happen. I can be assassinated. They jump into him. He's got the shield. He's trying to run away. Elimination could die. Ball's taking it up. They're oh! trying to kill off Sven. And it's six in a row now for High. Running those Shockwave catches two more, but he should be killed by the slow. And there's a shutdown. It's going to be two for one this fight. And actually, Bjergsen gets him on the backside. TP flank comes in. Three to one fight lead for TSM off the Nexus turret kills. Teleport Hauntzer does so. FlyQuest want to just run it up mid and kind of win this game, but they have to do it slowly. It's only, ooh, he actually catches the minions. There's actually a control over to allow him to pull minion aggro. The minion aggro doesn't matter though. There's no turrets that they need to pull. And they're gonna go in, and Svensko's gonna get pushed back. Here comes a big stun. Moon on the front line. Shockwave catches nothing. Ults it back, and High's still getting chased down by Hauntzer, but stays alive. It's a one for one tank. Or sorry, top lane for support. Ball's taken up, but he's gonna get dropped, and they can't kill off Bjergsen in time. Ooh, Two that... for one, favorite TSM. And it doesn't pay off there for FlyQuest. They cannot keep their backline safe enough and high. Really just have the plane could come immediately. Okay, they're cutting back. They know that Rengar's behind. Connected and here. The other side. He jumps in, gets the stun onto Altic, flashes the way to safety. Still trying to look for this big redemption. Going to come across and high. Running out of HP and he dies. Flash doesn't mean anything. Moon can't kill Turtle either. It's a two for zero. And it's going to be a whole lot more quickly. TSM going to find their third and they can start pushing down the base. Oh man, this is getting rough for FlyQuest as two runs in a Whoa! row. They make the work. They couldn't dodge all the shots. Huge play by Altec turns one back. It's only a 4v2 now. But Baron is up without Smite. A very contentious situation but right here. But they'll go mid. It's you just can't take Baron minutes. without losing your base. It is an open nexus, but also the inhibitor. Can TSM finish Baron and recall before that happens? Because there's no one to interrupt recalls. This is going to be close. Who's back to stop it? No one's back to stop it. It's going to be them taking down the inhibitor Bjergsen's itself. Back. Okay, Bjergsen's running up. Lons. You just gotta play it right. Now the play in towards high. Shockwave buys a bit of time. Ball's gonna be here as well. Hauntzer again, not the tankies, but has Guardian Angel. And we know Svenskern does a lot of damage. They get that kill as well. High, just being attacked by the double attack damage. The base kill does not help you against that. Buying that instead of uh, a Zonius or something, maybe a significant mistake. TSM now yeah. pushing in the bot lane with the Baron buff at a 5v4. And this is huge. They can't necessarily flank him in the base, but with Orionic done, FlyQuest doesn't have the ability to fight back here. This is at least one inhibitor going down. TSM might go for more. It's at least the inhibitor. We'll see what else can happen. Hideaway's not going to be used to stop curtain call. They don't seem to care about that very much. And all they really got was minions. Yeah, they're trying to run straight across the base to the other exposed inhibitor since they don't have a minion wave in the mid lane. Just poke for now. 5v4. You don't want to start the team fight. They know their Nexus is not really in danger just yet. And the arrow's going to land in a ball. Maybe he shouldn't be that far forward, but he'll be okay. Two ults down for TSM. No TP for high means it can be a pretty safety attack. Elder Dragon, like, it exists. It's some burn, but FlyQuest cannot get to it as a desperate objective, and they will, you know, begrudgingly give it away, but it's not the worst thing in the world. They will catch the farm in the side lanes. TSM get it. Credit to them. It's a useful thing to have. Yeah, but the least threatening possibly having the weak start. If they go 2-0 against C9, as well as FlyQuest, it was the play on in. mid. It's on right now. 2v1 against Balls, but it means the rest of FlyQuest are going down the mid lane to try to win the game. The rest can't defend it, so here they go. The double TP has to leave, but Balls can stop it. Bjergsen trying through? to cancel some of uh, it. Can he get the auto? He does! He stops it! He stops the TP! Balls valiantly dies to give his team time to win the game. But the teleports are coming in, and I don't know if they can kill the Nexus in time. And the rest down. of TSM it's is it here. It's going for Biofrost! Great flash by Turtle! They're going for the Nexus! Moon is trying desperately to take it! Okay. Can he get the attacks? He got he gets it! it! FlyQuest wins the game! What a call by High! And falls as well with the narrow delay on the teleport from Hauntzer. High goes down, Lemon goes down, Balls go down, but the Sterix gauge pops at the last few seconds for Moon, allowing him to dash, reload, and get in the final auto attack on that Nexus. That game positions this game it is. Back to basics for TSM. None of this cute double TP flanking nonsense. It's straight Team up fighter. the gut with Rise and Nautilus. No. Oh, elimination. Yeah. He got 16 gold back. He's actually okay with this. Minions have spawned. In fact, prison 
uh, after the cleanse debuff kind of wears off. That could have been a potential kill, so really Oops. just playing it super Moon sees safe. this, cue the wall. Ooh, and Sven actually kind of intentionally stops short, but he doesn't have flash, so it's an easy kill. Fertile Lords, the kill comes through to high, and oof, nice trap by Moon wow. finds him in the river. Yeah, really. About seven minutes in, you're almost always going to get ult before the duo lane does. They want to realm warp in to get behind him. Well, no high. flash. Ulti's in. The hook actually lands. Cleanse doesn't mean much. Shockwave pulls in Hauntzer. Still goes down. High, of course, didn't have flash to get away. Not much you could have done about it. Nicely played. TSM find the kill. Yeah, really clever play there by TSM. Just all piling up, waiting for High to get a little bit in there. And Cleanse be damned. He's not able to get away with no. Like, but you could just upgrade your different items instead. Sven's so got actually caught on the wrong side of this fight. Jumps in towards High. TP's coming in. Going to be matched a little bit later by Ball. Shockwave doesn't get much done in a Bjergsen, and suddenly Moon's alone as well. That is an easy two for zero. That fly quest you did not see coming, it seems. Easy yeah. fight for TSM. We talked about one before this. And he's trying anyway because yeah. Moon's around. They're but the bubble land. Dive. Oh dear. And he couldn't pop the one before this. He's going to try anyway and just die for it. Wild Frost has aggro. And he flashed away in time. That's an easy kill that falls. Should never have given away. Yeah, Moon was behind him as well, so I think the idea was that they were gonna somehow outplay the kill. Shockwave on two, Sven is almost dead, heals up, but he just can't quite die. FlyQuest just can't kill him off. They're forced to flash away. High's out of mana. Looking for the next one in, and it's gonna be High already dead, and Haunts are just slinking out all of the health bars flashing red, but it does not matter. The cleanup is there. That's a three for zero. Looking to make it four if they can. They will. And there it is, a double kill in. TSM 4-0 in that fight, a catastrophe for FlyQuest. Yeah, they're looking to turn this one in. Big moment in the game as far as power specs go. Absolutely, there we go, though, a slow on a turtle. FlyQuest who forces instead. Flashing out, Balls catches in, and Moon gets the kill, so there's something, and it's actually a penta assist. Everyone actually part of that fight. Oh, wow. And maybe FlyQuest can get something done. Svenskar and Zolted, but he can only jump Balls for a crit. That won't mean much. Rise still in the bot lane, they're pushing for bot lane tier two, so Bjergsen's getting a lot done as they are base racing like in the last game. Yeah, really interesting by FlyQuest. Again, as TSM is cresting super large power spikes, go for a pick anyway. They get it, and now they're forcing TSM into a big play, going for an inhibitor turret. Even in a 4v5, TSM might be able to take him. FlyQuest won it though. It's a 3v5 because Svenskern's not in the fight. He was clearing out the mid lane wave, so 3v5 is what they're going to take. They're going to get a lot of damage out of Hauntzer. Shockwave is available. Hauntzer's going to die for this one. Maybe a bit of a waste on the Shockwave, but he wanted to predict Flash with it. Though Flash was down, again, wasted ultimate. But that is inhibitor turret down and two kills picked up without anything happening. Yeah, TSM unable to group during their match. Edge of Night is on, here's the ulti in. Damage on a turtle to hit one shot. Now looking at Hauntzer, then back to the mid side. He lands a couple of these hits. Biofrost a little low. Hauntzer the front side. Bjergsen catches in though. And it's going to be Elimination stunned up and blown up. He's gone to the start. Beautiful and a bubble. Double bubble means a lot more is going to happen. Redemption to buy some time. A double kill in. Make that a third as Vols is going to drop. And well, nothing's happening well for FlyQuest at all. It's only High left alive, and he's not going to stop this one into Baron TSM goes. Yeah, that's about as good as the collapse could have gone for TSM as they get everyone access to the back line with the delayed ultimate coming in from Svenskar, and that's a 25-minute Baron for TSM. No chance to steal it. There we go. TSM going to be up. It was 5,500. Make that 7K now. Minion waves don't even need manicuring. They can just reset right away, buy yeah. their items, and really push into this game. A blue buff steal to cap it. And TSM could play lane now, ulting down to join Hanser in the bot lane, bringing a couple minions with them, and it's going to be the 3v1 against Balls it yet again. While. It'll take some time. The Shockwave buys a little bit as well, and maybe this actually works for him. Redemption buys a bit. Still in a Hanser. Shot's going to come through. Alta gets a kill. Balls still durable on the front side, gets away from Bjergsen. Turns out they reacted in time, but Balls is hit up. He gets crit up and he gets killed off. Nicely played, a one for one. Both teams lose their top laners. Yeah, a moderate misstep though from TSM for sure. Not sure what they expected to accomplish against the... The root though, Sven in the wings and actually there's no Ash close by. That is a nice shock of the well-timed by High Moon. Oh, he's gone. He's just done the arrow and the Svensker and combo comes through, and that means it's the third Cloud Drake easily. So pretty. Kills. They use this time to go for the durable objective. All done's gonna land team. on the three people. It's still a 5v4. Moon's alive in four seconds. And it's enough time for the inhibitor to be killed off. And they go in on a ball. Look at the damage output there. Back on a Svensker. They can get him with one more shot, and they do. They pick up the jungler. The overaggression once again actually turned around. The inhibitor itself actually lives, and TSM must retreat for a bit.
Another good hold by FlyQuest. He's in towards the team. Can they find the intro? His ulti's on. He's waiting to find Bjergsen overextending. He's waiting for the push. Moon can tank this done. That's okay. Ball's still tanky with the shield. Damage and a haunts are shocked. That catches two. Biofrost and Bjergsen. Biofrost gets away from this one. Elimination chucked out. A clan turtle. Oh, Honda turtle. He went to the front line, but it's traded back in. And it's a three for one. It's all okay for TSM. They got the trade kills. And now somehow two have to defend four with an open nexus turrets. Turtle flanks around the side of that fight. Now TSM's just going for the jungler. They already have three down. They want the game. And they save 10 seconds of move speed by going in. Nexus turret number one is gone. And this time around, the Nexus rush should go fast enough. Yurkson has Zachary and it doesn't matter. Solo mid's going to close out this series. I have to believe it. 20 seconds of the respawns. And yesterday, they took down Cloud9. Today, they take down FlyQuest. TSM take down their toughest opponents in the North American LCS back to back. And they improved to eight and two. I would assume they're yes. trying to get the damage down and the Nexus falls. <laughs> we are right after all. Well played TSM. They beat the hardest possible competition at this point in time. And yeah. they are half a game, or sorry, half a match back from Cloud9 for first. Yeah, you could not schedule a harder week for TSM, but they show